Ever wondered what puts the crypto into cryptocurrencies? It's cryptography, a way to encode messages so that transferring information can be done securely. The idea of digital cash is not new. Before Bitcoin though, all forms of digital had a key problem common to all digital goods. They are infinitely copyable. Bitcoin fixed this with cryptography. But think of a bank check. It can't be copyable, so it needs your signature. For this signature to be considered secure, it must be verifiable as your own signature. Counterfeit proofs so it can't be forged and impossible to deny by the signer later on. Cryptocurrencies fulfill these requirements through the use of cryptographic techniques and encryption keys. These keys ensure the authenticity of the transaction and participants like a real world signature. They also make it so that only those for whom the data or transaction is intended for can receive, read and process it. The keys are created using public key cryptography for digital signatures and cryptographic hash functions. The cryptographic algorithm used for Bitcoin is called SHA-256, Secure Hashing Function 256. SHA-256 is used in several different parts of the Bitcoin network. Mining uses SHA-256 as the proof of work algorithm and it's used in the creation of Bitcoin addresses to improve security and privacy. Now miners need to find a hash number to get their Bitcoin rewards. See this video on Bitcoin mining up here for details. They find this by inputting data, including all the current transactions, which fits into the block size limit, the previous blocks hash results, and the nonce into the SHA-256 hash function. The SHA-256 algorithm is also used to create private keys a 256 bit long string of numbers and letters used to prove ownership of Bitcoin. A private key is your way of saying, this address is mine and I have access to it. It allows the user to authorize a transaction on the network. It's important to note that coins are stored on the blockchain and not within your private key. Keys are stored in wallets and therefore coins are not stored in a cryptocurrency wallet. For every private key that exists in Bitcoin, there's a one-to-one -one relationship with a public key. So every public key is also 250 bits long. The final hash, your wallet address, is 160 bits long. In Bitcoin, private keys produce a public key via an elliptical curve digital signature algorithm, or ECDSA. As it's an asymmetric cipher, the public key cannot be reverse engineered to produce its corresponding private key. This is what makes it so secure. If you've got more questions, let us know in the comments and like, subscribe and smash the bell so we know what to keep bringing you. And as always, hashtag to the moon.